Hi everybody, Sally Diane here, your Queen of Ooga Booga, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the Dawn. Here it is in May, it's May 22nd, 2021. Boy, I thought we'd be done looking at him five months ago. I know we all would, but boy, it just gets keeps getting more and more fun. This week, uh, the SDNY joined hands with the city of New York to put criminal charges against the Trump organization. And the, apparently things are moving in on him in Georgia too. So let's see what's happening this week in Donald Trump. Whoops. So the card that came flying out is the Eight of Swords. And that tells me that some of the stuff that's coming down with Dom is going to have some prison time. He may be wearing an orange uniform, him or one of his kids anyway. So let me just give the cards a little bit more of a shuffle and a cut and we will see what's happening right now in Trump world. So we get a baseline here and the spread I'm using is actually a variation of the Celtic cross. It's just laid out a little bit different where the cross, here's the middle of the cross, here's the, the, the four corners of the cross and here's the staff. It makes it easier to read. Okay, so he got two major arcana cards and it talks about things coming into balance for him. And balance is not necessarily a good spot for for Donald Trump, he seems to thrive when things are chaotic. And so things are kind of getting a little settled down, a little bit more sedate. And when the silt settles down and the water becomes more clear, you can see more things that are happening. He is going to lose some of his hardcore evangelicals because some of the stuff that's coming out of, of, about Mr. Donald isn't too Christian didn't seem to bother him before you know and here you have judgment and it's judgment reversed and this isn't so much about donald trump in and of himself as it is about the people who backed him up that should have known better people like mitch mcconnell people like bill barr uh people like mike pence people like lindsey graham and i could go on and on and on and on and on about all the dis the Washington insiders that stood beside him so long even though they knew better he might not have okay so he he's always so good at playing the victim and he is just crying the blues now about how the people are supposed to back him you know how everybody's betraying him and wham 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 we've heard it before and he's just getting louder at it Okay, this one's interesting. The Page of Swords reversed. And one thing, um, you can make it difficult to be served. And this, to me, feels like he's going to do things to make it difficult to serve him. You know, just kind of playing the game of avoiding, of avoiding the paperwork, which that's, that's a short-term game anyway. So things aren't going too good for Mr. Donald. Um, you've got the Eight of Cups reversed. And the Eight of Cups, um, it's about turning your back on the material to pay attention to, to matters of the heart. But it's reversed, so he's really turned his back on the people who care about him the most in order to line his own pockets, in order to protect himself. And in the short term, you've got the Three of Wands. So I've seen him have some pretty dicey legal uh, uh, representation. This is not what I see in the Three of Wands. I see him getting uh, lawyers that he had, probably has to pay for up front, but he is going to get himself some very well-respected lawyers. Okay, so... How he views himself, again, the victim. He's, he's a businessman that's done, done 
that you know from his perspective he tells the world and his supporters that he's a businessman who's made smart uh business deals and now they're uh using obscure laws and twisting the truth and and everything he can uh think of to excuse his actions is just being not not illegal or criminal acts but smart business moves mm, i wonder how that's going to work out for him yeah the 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 world just the the way the world just sees it is that his secrets are coming out and it, you know as always with the don it's never just him it's always the people around him that get it worse than him and in this case it's true too those who have backed him with the exception with the exception of michael flynn are going to pay a price The short-term future, you've got the, the, the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is sometimes called the Wish Card. And there are so many people that have just wanted this guy to be exposed. And that's exactly what's going to happen. All you guys have saying, I wish he would get his own. You're going to get your wish. Huh. Okay, where it ends up is the ace of pentacles which is an unusual way for something to end you know like like this except it makes me wonder who's going to help him out because it looks like he might escape in the long run just want to put a few more cards he loses Merrill Argo yeah he gets an offer of a new beginning I really think, I still think that he might, um, he might actually go into exile. He might do a Snowden, uh, just because it, it, it just seems like things are closing in on him, closing in on him, closing in on him. He's fighting as hard as he can, and then he just gets his little escape. And it, I know that early on, early on, I thought that uh, maybe Russia was going to help him out, and I still think he's going to get some help from somebody he's going to manage to escape the worst of it although i think he is going to see a night or two in jail okay so that is this week in the dawn and just before we go i'm just curious i want to see how the kids are going to fare especially don jr okay let's see don jr i'm going to start out with don jr Yeah, Don Jr. ends up getting three years. Okay, Eric. Eric comes into balance. Al, Eric, you know, and he always, I know Saturday Night Live made fun of being dim-witted, but it looks like he's the one who is helpful. He's the one who, he's the one who's going to come out of this unscathed. Oh, Let's see how Ivana Ivanka does. With her, it's I don't think that she's going to get into legal trouble per se, but it's kind of like she loses all of her perks. She loses her um she loses uh her silver lining, if you will. You know, so even though she doesn't get into legal troubles, I think she gets into financial troubles. Her her uh, gilded life isn't going to be quite so gilded. Okay, so that is right now in the dawn. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to tune in every Sunday night at 9 o'clock for Psychic Sundays Live with your queen, Sally Diane, and her producer. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great week.